hi welcome now i am going to show you how to turn off uh, grand totals uh, row totals or column totals of the pivot table okay the data what i have is the set of products and the respective customer category country and four months sales okay so the total number of records uh, what i have is 277 records what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a pivot table on this uh, source data and uh, then i will show you how to turn off the totals okay now uh, first uh, i want all the columns here eight columns uh, insert i'm going to insert a pivot table okay pivot table and the range is the source data which we already selected so it's showing the data if you if you haven't selected the range then you need to select the range okay then now uh, you have the uh, where do you want the pivot tables to be okay the pivot table i want it on the existing worksheet i already have the worksheet turn of totals uh, and uh, there i want the pivot table what is the location the first cell okay it can be any cell in the worksheet press ok once you press ok then what it happens is that uh, it shows the pivot table area here and also the pivot table uh, pan okay this pan is uh, this pan is uh, useful to select the fields okay so you have filters columns rows and values and uh, i am selecting the row uh, rows okay each row is product and the uh, what i have is the uh, category also on the columns for each row and the category i want the sales of january okay so what happens here uh, i have uh, uh, grand totals for each row Alice Mutton how much the overall total as well as the new and old categories what is the total okay so I have uh, row totals as well as the this row the row totals for each uh, row which is uh, nothing but the product this is a product probably I'll just uh, product and uh, this is nothing but uh, the category okay so category is i want only the new or old and the grand total okay this is the row wise total this is the column wise total okay so now for some reason you don't want the totals to be displayed or you want to turn off the totals okay how can you do this okay okay this this the very tricky thing that uh, we, we in sometimes in analysis you want totals as well as you don't want the totals okay so how can you uh, remove the totals okay what i have here is uh, you go to the pivot table and click on that uh, then you will know the design okay in the design you have a layout group in the layout you have the grand totals okay in the grand totals you have four options off for rows and columns so you can off for rows and columns it will take away both uh, row row and column totals okay you cannot find the column totals as well as row totals as well as the overall grand total okay now or you can also go and do the either on for both on means you get the both the totals okay and uh, you can also have uh, on for one rows only then you will have only the rows but the columns you cannot find the columns totals okay or you can go for on for columns only so in the rows you can hide it and get the columns only okay this the way you can uh, use this uh, design tab uh, and uh, the layout group grand totals function okay so you you have uh, 
if you click somewhere else if you are somewhere else other than the pivot table you cannot find the design tab okay you must click on the table to find the design table because once you click it will come up with the pivot tables uh, tools analyze and design in the design you can find the grand totals and in the grand totals drop down you can find the menu of uh, uh, off for rows and columns on for rows and columns on for rows and uh, on for columns only okay this way you can get to your uh, totals on and turned off okay hope uh, this video is helpful to you if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel the alan sam logo is already on the on the video itself you can click on that to subscribe to my channel so that you won't leave any you won't miss out any of our videos and also uh, please give your comments and suggestions uh, it is public and you can leave it there and uh, it will be very useful for us to improve our videos and god bless you